Now what we got here is a propane powered generator, just a common generator like you buy at uh, Tractor Supply. I think I got this one. That little valve there is what I bought. Screwed right into the bottom of the float bowl. You can see that. Just a needle valve is all it is with the color of the spud in. Just a needle valve is all it is. Line goes over here. This is a Garrett model S Garrettson model SD. Very nice regulator, very handy. I think it's up to 50 horsepower. Line goes straight over to here. Now this Garrettson, you do have to regulate down with the bottle regulator. You can run this same regulator on natural gas for a stationary unit. But for propane, you have to kick it down with a regular, just a grass grill regulator. That's all that is. Pretty simple setup. I'm going to charge you $2,300 for this kit. When basically, that and that Garrison SD is all you need. Now that's a special one just for this motor. Screws in really nice and fits really cool right there in the bottom of the float bowl. So you might pay a little more if you wanted to order one specifically for your engine. Now this is a little one I've been working on just recently. This is a real cheap setup. What I did was took a Honda spud in, cut it down. It looked basically like this. You know, this is a similar one, just a different kind of motor. I just cut this down, beveled it right at the end, screwed it right into the side of the diaphragm plate on the Honda 5 horsepower engine, put a bolt on each side and a couple O-rings, came over here to a zero pressure regulator. That's actually a Beam Model 50. That's a pretty good, pretty good regulator, but it's... It's a good regulator, nothing matter with it. I just don't like it. I didn't have a primer button. That's actually probably good for 65 horsepower or so. And the inlet pressure, you do not need the regulator on your bottle because the inlet pressure is good 250 psi, I believe. So that's plenty for propane. But you would have to have a high pressure hose, steel braided high pressure hose, or a solid line. Now I'm probably going to take this tiller motor and just mount me a portable right here because that's just too much cylinder to carry around on a tiller. Even a one gallon, I think, would be too much, so I'm probably just going to mount right up here, run it straight into there. This thing cranks right up and runs. Great thing is, no more gasoline problems. This one I just converted because the carburetor went out. Well, why spend a hundred something dollars on a carburetor whenever a gas tank and everything else, whenever I can just spend a little bit of money on LP. This generator right here I've had since probably 1999. I don't use it a whole lot, but when I use it, I use it. Of course, there's never, ever, ever been a carburetor problem on it because it's on LP gas. There's never a problem. You turn on the gas, you hit the choke, push that little primer button over there, crank it up, it starts right up. It's the way to go for a generator for sure, but for any engine that you don't use a lot, lawnmowers, tillers, uh, they even make a propane powered weed eater. Uh, sport stroke, of course, you have to buy that all as one complete unit, but it's just about the same as any good commercial weed eater. I've had mine for about three years. Started in dead cold winter, crank right up. But eliminating all those carburetor problems be the perfect setup. All I did was drill a hole in that side of that carburetor, cut my little spud in part down, fit it in there, bolted it up tight, one similar to this. Bolted it up tight, bolted a nut on each side, and the, the adjustment screw was almost all the way in to get it to run smooth. Once I got it all the way adjusted right, that was the only adjustment. Screw it in until it runs good. That's it. Talk about simplicity. This is very not as complicated as people think. Very simple setup. As far as safety, let's say I, you know, kind of close to the muffler there, oh my god, what if I burn a hole in it? Well, this is a negative pressure regulator. If this hose were to cut, nothing's coming out. There's no vacuum. This is only, this regulator only operates when a vacuum is on it. It's not like a gas regulator that when you turn the gas on, the gas comes out. It has to have a vacuum pulling on it, called a negative pressure regulator. A lot of different kinds. Garrison makes them, Beams makes them, K&N makes them. Uh, you can see a big price range anywhere from oh 150 bucks to 50 bucks. That right there probably run you about 30 bucks, 40 bucks average. And this one here, 
was not for this engine. That's a Honda. I just made it work. And all it is, like I said, it's buddy. I don't know why you couldn't just stick something in the side of your carburetor with a needle valve right here in line. I'm sure it would work. Pretty simple setup. Anybody can do it.